in our previous example, we saw the term on commit preserve rows, which means once you populate it with the next transaction, keep those rows around the entire session. Well, don't forget that statement because if you do, the default for that is the ANSI standard of on commit delete rows, which means you can create the table, but after the first transaction, which is usually the insert select to populate it, the data goes away. So people all the time go, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Why would anybody want to on commit delete rows? Well, let me explain it to you. Let's just say you wanted to build a volatile table and do one thing with it and then be done with it. Maybe just get a report. Well, if you have on commit preserve rows and you only wanted to use it for one thing, it populates the table with your spool space. You get your report from your one transaction and then all of a sudden that spool space is still out there as you do other queries on the system you could run out of spool space because some of it's been taken. So you can use the on commit delete rows, but you got to do it this way. You create the volatile table and you say on commit delete rows. Then before you populate it, you only get one transaction. So I actually say, watch this. BT semicolon or I can type it out begin transaction semicolon and they go okay everything until the end transactions one transaction and I go yeah insert into this table my insert select statement I've materialized it semicolon and then I want to select from it and now I've got my report semicolon end transaction and it's worked perfectly I created it did the begin transaction and populated it, ran the query, all one transaction. When I say end transaction, the table is gone, not taking up any more of my spool space, and daddy's got his report. In step one, I created the volatile table. In step two, I materialized it with my spool. I might even forget if I've created some volatile tables so I can do help volatile table here in step three and it's going to show me all the volatile tables that I have in my session. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.